Okay, good morning there. This is James here again, and I'm going to show you a little tutorial on how to bring and edit text and put it into easel with multiple images and being able to cut different depths. So with that being said, we're just going to select a text. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to type in my name. And I'm just going to hit enter. You can do multiple texts, but this is works for me. I'm going to put in April 2021. And then I'm going to center the text. I can select a font at this time. I can adjust everything. I'm going to do bold italicized. I like that cut. And I'm going to show you why here in a little bit. You want your text a little thick. And I'm going to show you why. At this point, I'm done editing. I'm not going to do any additional work to this. Other than I'm going to change it into a path. Right now, as you can see on the bottom, it is a text and set send serif 30 points. And you can just you can select all this again and see what's going on. But we're just going to turn it into a path. Now, all text in Inkscape is objects. So I'm just going to say object to path done it turned it into a group on layer one just take my word for it um actually you really don't you can double click on any of this stuff and you can see that it is a path and select again you can see each one is a path it broke it up for us we can group it we can do whatever just leave it like it is you can group it in easel just as easy so um with it being a path by going, having it selected, going to path, object to path, uh, you really see nothing happening, but it does turn it into a path. So at this point, we just want to uh, left click file, save as, give it some name, let's just call it text. It is an SVG, we're saving it, we can cancel this or close it, whatever, we've already saved it, so it doesn't matter. With Inkscape up, I'm not going to go into much detail other than bringing in a couple objects and showing you how to manipulate them in here. So you don't want to open, you want to import SVGs. Okay, so I want to import my text. Done. There's what I just created in uh, Inkscape. It looks a little wonky over here, and I'm going to show you why here in a minute. Um, let's import something else import SVG. I'm going to bring in a drawing. It's going to just be that. Simple. So it looks like um, it's going to cut the whole thing out, which is fine. Um, but we don't want to clear the pocket. We just want to cut on path. That's outside, inside, on path. So there's those little yellow things we don't like because it's trying to keep everything copacetic. So with that being said, let's get back to this. So our text is thinner than this eighth inch bit. So do sixteenth inch bit and that should get you cut. As you can see, it now will cut all the way through. So if you're cutting the depth all the way through 12 meters or 12 millimeters, cut it all bad thing is here's the tricky thing this is going to be in any particular uh, image you do if your bit is thicker than the font it will not cut it so lie to it <laughs> seriously lie to it if you can get 132nd or 164th by all means do it one you know 132nd will probably be perfect. All you're going to do is scratch the surface. That's all you're going to do. So you can zoom in on this to make sure it looks good. Make sure it's going to cut all the way through. Uh, and you see we're starting to lose a little detail. Right around the P. You're getting a little tiny now. Bring it up. You can start getting more detail because your bit will not cut. And don't ask me why it does this, but it just won't cut. If the font is bigger than the text, or correction, 
the bit is bigger than the cut. Now, I, ha I don't have anything list showing right now because why? I moved everything. So, I can bring it back up again. Remember the thickness of your material. Select one image. You're cutting the leaf. Um, get your depth set right. Depending on how you want it, you want it just a little deeper. So, in order to get rid of the nibs, if you don't want them, make sure your material is thicker than your cut. So, what I'm saying is if your material is one millimeter, and you know you're going to be cutting 1.1 millimeter, just to make sure you get all the way through that, make your material two millimeters and cut it at 1.1. It's not going to make a difference. It's still going to go 1.1 deep regardless how thick your material is. So with that being said, if your material, material, blah, 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 yeah, in my tongue twisting days, say 2 millimeters or 2.7 millimeters, click OK, it automatically starts adjusting all your cuts. So if you know you're going to be at 1.1, or uh, cutting one millimeter, cut it at 1.1 or deeper. You're going to hit your sacrificial piece of wood, but that's fine. That's what it's there for. Now you can adjust everything. Now here's a bad thing. I didn't group this, no, and I forget how to group in here. Uh, it's been a while, so I'm not going to even think about it. Combine. There we go. Put this back where we, we where we want it. Now I can select this and cut this to the depth I want. One point one, done. Um, actually, that's too deep. This is one point one. We only want to scratch the surface. So do point two, point three, point four. If that don't work for you, take it down to point four. That's a half a millimeter, or a little less than half a millimeter. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a good day. I will talk at you later. I'm out.